Hey, hi guys, uh, welcome to our new playlist uh, that is a SAP automation. So in this video, we are going to understand how we can log in the SAP uh, application uh, using UiPath. Okay. And uh, what are the activities available into the UiPath studio, which is related to this SAP automation and how we can implement that activity instead of UI automation activity. Okay. And uh, what is the prerequisite setting means what exactly setting before the applying the automation means SAP automation. Okay, so all the things we are going to understand one by one. So in case uh, you are new, so please subscribe to this uh, channel. Yeah, so I'm going to start that one. Okay, so first of all, so first of all, we need to apply the setting. Okay, so this is my SAP. Okay, so first of all, we need to enable the scripting in server side or the and client side. So we can enable the scripting. So for that purpose, we need to execute the transition code that is a RZLA1. So I'm going to enter that uh, transition code and uh, click on enter. So here we need to pass the parameter. So that parameter is, is a uh, like SAP uh, GUI uh, slash user underscore scripting. So we need to enter this name and click on display. So we need to enable the scripting. How we can do that? So, uh, like we need to enter, enter the transition code that is RZ11 and uh, type the uh, parameter name that is a SAP GUI and uh, slash uh, scripting. Okay, user scripting. Okay, so then we will get uh, we will get this kind of page. So here we have option that is a change value. Click on that change value, and so then after clicking on this change value, you will get this kind of pop up. Okay, so what we need to do? By default, this current value in your case it is a false. So here we need to enable the means here we need to type the true. Okay, by default it's a false in your case. Okay. So here we need to write the true and click on save and click on write. Okay. So this is nothing but a how we can enable the scripting. So this is the first setting we need to apply before the applying the automation. So what is the second thing? Second thing here we have option. So, uh, like um, customize the layout, uh, okay, local layout. So click on that, and here we have an option. Click on that option. So then, under this accessibility and uh, scripting, you will get the two options. One is the accessibility, and second is the scripting. Click on scripting, and we need to enable this, enable the scripting. So uh, select this checkbox and uncheck the uh, like uh, this three box. Click on apply and click on okay. So this is the first uh, things we need to do before the applying the SAP automation. Okay. So next we are going to understand how we can log in the SAP application. So I'm going to open the uh, like UiPath Studio. Okay. So uh, my credential is already stored into the asset. Okay. So directly I'm going to apply the get credential. Uh, so my output is uh, like this output is a username and password i don't want to show that username and password so that's why i'm going to store into the uh, asset um, means orchestrator asset okay so here we have two things first of all we need to import the package which is related to sap so this package name is uh, this one okay so uipa.sap so this one okay dot bapi dot activity so first of all we need to import this package then next we need to use the activity SAP logon. Okay. SAP logon. So this is the first activity we need to apply. Okay. So here we need to pass the uh, path of that exe path of that SAP. Okay. Then what is the second thing? Here we need to pass the connection name. How we can get the connection name? So connection name, my connection names like this. This is my connection name. Okay. I'm going to pass this connection name. SAP uh, for HANA. 2020. Okay. So I am going to pass in uh, as a string. Okay. SAP for HANA 2023. And let me, I am going to check uh, this is correct or not. Yeah. So S4 HANA. S4 HANA. Sorry. S4 HANA 2023. This is a connection name. So how we can create a connection name? So I am going to close this one. Okay, so that purpose we required a uh, uh, like a parameter. So many uh, parameter we required. So right click. Okay, so click on uh, right click on any option. 
ओके हेयर वी हैव ऑप्शन ऐड न्यू एंट्री ओके और ऐड न्यू कनेक्शन ओके सो क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट ओके हेयर वी नीड टू पास द डिस्क्रिप्शन एप्लीकेशन सर्वर इंस्टेंट नंबर एंड सिस्टम आईडी सो ऑल दिस पैरामीटर वी नीड टू पास एंड क्रिएट अ कनेक्शन दिस इज नथिंग बट अ हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ न्यू कनेक्शन ओके सो वंस अ क्रिएट अ कनेक्शन यू विल गेट द नेम ऑफ दैट कनेक्शन ओके सो देन so here this is a connection name we need to pass into this uh, block okay so that's it this is the thing but uh, how we can pass the connection name okay so then next activity and this is very important activity sap login okay so sap login so we need to just indicate that application okay so no so first of all we need to double click on this connection okay then after that you will uh, uh, like you will get this kind of login page okay then uh, like indicate that application okay i am going to indicate this login application that's it yeah so that's it uh, i don't want to reuse this compon element okay so i am going to click on that then what we need to do we need to pass the we need to pass the this information okay what so first is the client client means you will get the one uh, code okay so that code we need to pass here okay my code is uh, i am going to enter that code okay so like 600 okay so username my username is username so that is already uh, available in uh, into the asset i am going to just pass that uh, value here okay username and password here we need to pass the username and password so my uh, like uh, password is a uh, like secure string so i am going to pass that one okay so always you need to select the language that is a en okay so yeah after getting the license you will get this all kind of information description application name okay so uh, application id system id client number username and password language all that things you will get that okay so just we need to pass the all parameter once i done it so once i done it here we have a property close property i am going to select the never i don't want to close uh, after completing this login and open so i do if not open and so yeah so that's it uh, if you want to pass the any uh, like um, this is a retry number we need to pass suppose i want to pass the retry number so three times i want to retry if it is not able to open and a uh, number of retry here we need to pass the number of retry and retry between interval okay so we need pass that time okay so that that is a important property okay so i'm going to click on save and i'm going to first of all close this yeah so close and this one i'm going to close yeah so now i'm going to run this let's see what happen it is going to log in the sap it is going to get the credential from that orchestrator yeah so logon is going on okay so now uh, login is going on yeah so that's it okay so this is nothing but uh, how we can log in the sap application first of all we need to enable the scripting then we need to pass the uh, then we need to take a sap logon then sap login activity and pass the whatever uh, parameter mandatory parameter required for that activity so then once i land on this page you uh, like uh, so you we need to enter the transaction code okay so this is a block so here we need to pass the transaction code how we can pass the transaction code so normally people are going to use a like a type into activity uh, which is related to ui automation but we have a directly sap activity guys so try to implement that activity so that activity name, name is a uh, so that is nothing but a call transaction okay so this is activity so actually it this activity is going to help for entering the transaction code okay so i am going to enter uh, i am going to select the this application and here we need to pass the call transaction my transaction is a my transaction code is a like uh, suppose sq yes, sq21 let me i am going to check yeah us21 sorry i want to enter this transaction code 
okay give west 21 so yeah i don't want to run all things just i'm going to already it is a login so i'm going to apply the breakpoint and i'm going to run this yeah uh, instead of applying the type into UI automation activity, you can use this call transaction. It is a uh, means performance wise and speed wise, it is a faster than a UI automation. Yeah, so it is going to call that transition. See, okay, uh, so like suppose I want to click on this uh, option. So, uh, suppose exit and uh, suppose back and exit and cancel. So, these are what all toolbar options. So, I want to select the any toolbar option. So how we can do that? So normally people are going to use a click activity, but instead of that click activity, we have a directly SAP activity. So what exactly name that? So that activity name is a. So here we have a option. Yeah. So this one, uh, click toolbar option. I'm going to drag and drop, drag and drop this activity, and here I'm going to indicate on any one option. So like suppose, uh, first of all, I'm going to indicate this only. Uh, so this exit option. I'm going to indicate and select and that's it yeah so that is an inter option okay so yeah so i'm going to uh, run this yeah it is going to click on this enter option yeah wait for start yeah i think started yeah it is going to click on that ex exit button oh sorry enter button okay suppose i want to click on this back button so how we can do that so whatever the option which is available into this toolbar so automatically recognize yeah so these are all option which is available into that uh, ribbon means uh, toolbar option so it is going to automatically get that all things yeah see suppose i want to click this time i want to click on that back option here we have a back option i'm going to select and i'm going to run this it is going to click on back uh, button no need to get the uh, another click activity or any another uh, so activity so toolbar activity same activity just we need to select the another option so that is a good thing sub, uh, related to this uh, act, uh, sap activity instead of click okay so i think it has click it so i'm going to check yeah. so back okay so back see entry mandatory field short text okay suppose suppose i want to click on this uh, exit option so just we need to select the exit Okay, so and I'm going to run this. Let's see what happened. So it is going to click on that exit button. Yeah, so execution is started. So now it is going to click on that exit. Yeah. Okay, so these are all options uh, like uh, which is related to that activity. So uh, like uh, try to use this activity. So instead of uh, click activity okay so another again we have a multiple option see uh, like tool sales scope what exactly this activity tool sales scope means what suppose there is a one table i want to put the one by one record from that column so it is going to automatically uh, understand existing data and uh, write into the next cell for example suppose i'm going to open the any value here uh, transition code which is related to this one table and i'm going to enter click on exit now i'm going to enter the transition code this is my transition code i'm going to enter yeah suppose i want to put the one by one material which is available from excel to this uh, application so all material there is a one column that is a material column just i want to enter uh, put the end material code and enter again put the material code and enter so this kind of things uh, uh, you want to automate so that purpose we have an activity uh, like a table sales scope just we need to pass that uh, activity means table scale scope and indicate that uh, means uh, any one cell okay so that's it okay so this is nothing but a table sale value okay so these are uh, all option yeah you can try this all option that is uh, means uh, i like uh, instead of that activity normal click type into so you can apply this activity yeah uh, so this is all about this uh, sap related activity how we can log in the application how we can use this activity okay so yeah so uh, thanks for watching this video uh, in case uh, any query okay so please uh, comment on comment box yeah so thanks